Well, as you can imagine, this house was something really different for Mason City in 1908. Some of the features that are really uh, important to Frank Lloyd Wright's version of the Prairie School, the bands of windows, uh, contiguous windows together, the edge of the roof line that makes a broad horizontal statement. Also, you have this thick and thin trim. Instead of stopping at the edge of the wall, bleeds off to the sides, which again emphasizes that uh, horizontal effect. Your eyes don't stop at the edge, it bleeds off and directs your eyes out. Uh, all those things uh, make it so when you come around the corner and see the house, there's no question this is a prairie school home. As you come up into the house, you can see that you get a vista not only of the living room area, but through the veranda and a large window. So it makes it a very open feeling house. And throughout the house, you'll see symmetry as something that's a, a theme in the, in the design. Along with the symmetry, the trim in the house reflects that concept of horizontality. So we have this very wide trim along the walls and just down from the ceiling that uh, is uniform throughout the house in all the rooms. The group that put the uh, furniture in the house tried to imitate the design features of the furniture as well as keeping the house as it was. Some of the other things on the wall here are an article from the New York Times talking about uh, the moving of the house and saving of it. And uh, I like the, uh, the headline, uh, Averting a Right Wrong. I hope you enjoy it and enjoy your time in Mason City.